By the end of this video, you are going to unbox your 1 inch 360 edition and make your very first reframed 360 video. So let's get started. First, let's unbox and set up the 1 inch 360. Remove all the plastic from the camera body. Put the camera temporarily down sideways on the box lid and this will prevent your lenses from getting scratched easily from a hard surface. Grab the lens cover from the white box. Put it over your lenses and now they are protected. Next, pull the USB-C cable from the white box which you will use in a moment to charge your camera. The next step is to insert the micro SD card. To do this, grab your 1 inch 360, press down the two clips on either side of the lenses to detach the 360 mod, open the port, and this will let you slide out the core and battery from the bracket. Pull the core and battery apart and insert the micro SD card. Make sure you are using a V30 micro SD card to avoid any errors. To rebuild the camera, connect the core and battery. Slide the core and battery into the bracket. Close the port. Connect the 360 mod to the core until it clicks into place and you have successfully rebuilt your 1 inch 360. The next step is to charge your 1 inch 360. To do this, grab the USB-C cable which came in the box and plug it into the USB-C port. Plug the other end of the cable into a USB plug. Put the plug into a socket and switch it on to start charging. It's important to note that the charging LED indicator is actually next to the port and not on the core mod. So when this red light indicator goes off, that's when the 1 inch 360 has finished charging. Next, download the Insta360 app so you can activate the camera and connect it to the Insta360 app. Once the Insta360 app is downloaded, turn on the 1 inch 360, tap the tick for the English language, and now a prompt will appear to activate the camera. Open the Insta360 app. Agree to the terms. Tap yes. Accept all the permissions for the Insta360 app to run smoothly. Notifications are optional. Then tap go to app. The camera has been found. Tap connect. If it fails, don't worry, go to your Wi-Fi. Select the One RS. Enter the number 8, 8 times. Tap Join. Go back to the Insta360 app. Tap activation and now your 1 inch 360 is activated. Let's register later. The next step is to update your camera. To do this go to settings, firmware version and tap start to download. Wait for the download to finish. Tap upload firmware file to camera and wait for the update process to finish. Reconnect the camera. Tap join and now your 1 inch 360 is updated to the latest firmware. Next, go down to app settings and uncheck shot on watermark. This will remove the Insta360 logo when you export your videos from the Insta360 app. The next step is to format the micro SD card in camera. To do this, swipe down from the top of the screen, go to settings, SD card, Format SD card, confirm, and now your SD card is ready for filming. Let's set up the 1 inch 360 to film the best video quality possible. To do this, go to video mode, 
Set the video resolution to 6K and the frame rate to 30 frames per second. 6K will give you the best video quality possible and 30 frames per second will give you the smoothest video possible. Next, let's go through video exposure settings. So go back and swipe left from the right of the screen. Let's start off using auto exposure mode so the ISO and shutter speed is chosen for you. You can either choose standard color so you have some flexibility to tweak the color grade in post or you can choose vivid which will give you punchy colors and contrast which is ready to upload onto social media without any further color grading required. Leave the white balance on auto. When you become more pro, you can experiment with manual exposure and settings but for now, just try to have fun making 360 videos with everything on auto. The last setting to change is the sharpness. To do this, swipe down from the top of the screen, go to settings, general, sharpness, set it to low, and you are now ready to start filming 360 video. To film your first 360 video, mount the 1 inch 360 on your selfie stick. I am using the best 360 150 centimeter carbon fiber selfie stick. Extend the selfie stick in front of you. Make sure you are in video mode, recording at 6K, 30 frames per second in auto exposure mode. Press record and keep your arms relaxed by your side so it doesn't look awkward on camera. Walk forward for around 10 seconds and stop recording. To preview your 360 video in camera, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and here you will see all your camera files. Tap play. Swipe across the top half of the screen to look around your 360 video and swipe back and forth across the bottom half of the screen to scrub throughout your entire video. The next step is to edit your 360 video in the Insta360 app. To do this, turn on the 1 inch 360, tap the connect camera button, wait for the camera to be found, tap join, and all your 360 videos in camera will show up here in the album tab. Tap the video clip to edit it, on the bottom is the video clip timeline and you can swipe your finger in all directions to look around the 360 video. First let's trim the video to remove the parts where I start and stop recording. To do this, tap trim. Move the left marker inwards to trim the start of the video and move the right marker inwards to trim the end of the video. Tap the tick to confirm. The next step is to add keyframes. Keyframes tell the app where to look in the 360 video at a specific point in time. So at the beginning of the video, reframe how you want your video to look and tap plus to add a keyframe. Now the app knows this is how you want your video to look like at the beginning of the video. Two seconds into the video, I want to keep myself in the center of the frame so I will add a keyframe here and I also want the video clip to zoom in slightly so I will change the field of view to linear and linear will also remove all the fisheye distortion so now when I play back the video you will see the video zoom in slightly from ultra wide to the linear field of view over two seconds over the next second I want to reframe the 360 video to look in the direction I am walking in and add a keyframe here so if I play this back, you can see the video turn from myself to the opposite direction. I want to keep this view for one second, so I will add a keyframe here. In the next second, I want to go to a tiny planet view. So I will add a keyframe, tap tiny planet, drag my finger up to turn the video into a tiny planet and spin it around so I'm on top. To save this view, Tap update keyframe. I want to keep the tiny planet view for one and a half seconds. So I will add a keyframe here. Then in the next second, I will add a keyframe. 
Go back to the ultra wide view of myself in the center of the frame. Tap update keyframe to save this view. And this is the result. To export your video in the best video quality possible for Instagram or TikTok, tap export, custom, select the highest resolution, highest bit rate, tap export and your video will be exported to your phone album ready to upload onto social media. And just like that you have managed to edit your first reframed 360 video without the need to transfer the video files from your camera to your phone. If you want to learn everything you need to know about editing reframed or immersive 360 video, then check out my Best 360 Academy. It has all the latest knowledge on how to edit 360 video on the app and desktop. You can also check out my older YouTube editing video straight after this video. But if you want all the latest knowledge, then check out the Best 360 Academy. I'll leave a link to the Best 360 Academy in the video description. That's it for this video. Hit the like button if you learned something new, subscribe for more 360 tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.